Hey everybody! Wealth of Nations, EU4. Rebels and, and wars and trade and debt and intrigue. Shall oh we continue? <laughs> I guess so. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, after that, like, glorious introduction. How could we not? <laughs> I might, well, at first, I, was... I thought it was going to be one of your short ones. I'm like, dude, it's only episode two of this week. You can't start <laughs> putting out the short intros yet. Or we're going to be starting with a grunt. Uh, I, might yeah, create, yeah. I might create a vassal. I might create Byzantium. Cool, do it. Is when... And then switch. And then what? <laughs> yeah, switch to Please. Byzantium. And then just play as no, Byzantium. No, no. No, don't do that. That crashes the game. <laughs> does it? It does. It does this weird thing in multiplayer where it makes everyone in the game play as that player. <laughs> Still? I remember I, I, I remember it happening multiple times where I was trying to play. Um, I have like, you know, 20 people right. in EU4 together and it was not fun. Sounds great. We'll one person would do it. It's fine. <laughs> I'll handle the economy. <laughs> Except that it crashes. Yeah, that part is less good. So I, uh, I thought one of the things I could do, just like if I'm sitting here idle, is I could go and take on Mali, you know, and steal all their gold. They're allied to France, obviously. Although I guess I, I'll just have to keep going for when it's time to attack France. When you said Mali, I had no idea what you were talking about for about 45 seconds. Is this country? I, well, this I was place? looking, I was like, where's M-O-L-L-Y? Where's... <laughs> uh, Mali, where like, yeah. That's fair. Or I was like, is it like with an Exante goo or something? Is it like a French vassal? Mali is huge, though. How did that happen? Well, this is actually their... Oh, well, I guess they did go and take out whoever's to the east of them. Because otherwise, they're mostly samey. And there's a bit of France in the middle, which is kind of yeah. scary. I'm going to have to have an army over there. Swedish Patriots. Come on, Swede. Come on. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't have a... Where's my other leader? Oh, no, right. I got espionage ideas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why did you... Why'd you do that? Because I was like, well, I'm not going to do expansion or exploration. So there's two diplomatic ideas gone. I already took diplomatic ideas, so I can't really see what the remaining ones were, I think. But, oh, I can, actually. One sec. Well, there's influence, and I was like, I don't have any vassals, and I don't diplomatically annex anything. Then trade, and I'm like, I don't understand trade, and I suck at it. And then maritime, and I don't really have that much going on navally, so I was like, why don't we try, uh, try espionage ideas? They can be pretty annoying to people. I'm surprised. Uh, I forgot that it was in the diplomatic idea group now instead of administrative. It's a good change. Mm. Here you go. Uh, now I've just unlocked sabotage reputation. Sabotage the reputation between the target and her rival's enemies and neighbors. Let's try that on I wish, France. I wish that they would make it so that everyone can do that, but if you take the idea group, it's like triple as good. Because that's yeah. a really cool mechanic. You know. I agree. Not that having the ability sense. to like do fun things Right. It's less good. Like, that's exactly, exactly the problem with this game, is that there's nothing to do during peace, and those are things you can do during peace. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun. Even if it was just, like, minus 25 opinion, or minus 20, no, instead I agree. of minus usually, 50. Usually when you whine about stuff, I kind of just roll my eyes. I'm like, oh, <laughs> there goes a Roomba again. But no, that's a really good idea. Yeah. All right, finally, I got some, I got some approval. I feel so, I feel so good. <laughs> Well, here we go. I'm doing a straight crossing to take out some rebels. Wish There's me luck. Colony. Oh, I can't build a colony there because of bullshit. Looks like you're I gonna be fine. Yeah. Oh, I can't see I you anymore. I should still, I should still be fine. <clears throat> I guess what I'm gonna do is just keep like half of my units in one mm -hmm. and half of my units across the street. Yeah, it makes more sense. All right, pressure's coming back. I didn't know they went anywhere. Well, I lost a lot of manpower and was about a thousand ducats in debt, but it's coming back. It's all coming up Millhouse now. Exactly. In in 40 months, this debt situation is going to be sorted out, which sounds like a lot, <laughs> but is not actually that bad in the, you know, the grander scheme of life. <laughs> eh, only like two videos. Exactly. Wow. It's better than having a Regency yeah. Council. Prussia, I'm sorry, you're not going to like me by about minus 50. Are you sabotaging my reputation? <laughs> Only with myself. <laughs> You'll turn around and do it back to him, right? 
I don't know what's what's happening. No, nah, it was uh, I had a choice. Minus like lose prestige or your opinion goes down by fifty. Oh yeah. So. Well, I'm actually I almost have you in a positive opinion. Or sorry, you almost have me in a positive opinion. Yeah. Oh, but I hate you by minus 138. Why am I wasting my diplomat over here? I'm a traitor. To... I'm a traitor to you, apparently. It's so stupid. We have hostile relations, border I friction. I keep trying to, like, form a real alliance with you. It just doesn't work. Yeah, and, and you just well, say Well, my no. relationship with Prussia has been negative 200 since, like, episode 2 or something like that. Yeah, since you grew to, like, the entire north-central part of uh, Europe. Right. Says Prussia. <laughs> have you seen you? Yeah, but I did it more slowly, sort of. Mm hmm I paced myself. That's why I only have, uh, you know, 108% overextension right now. What's our age? Byzantium wants you have royal marriage. 269 <laughs> against me. Nice. Sure, Byzantium. Nice. Let's be royally married. It's great. Ah, uh, there's the coring. All right, we're below 100 now. Oh. Yay. My sabotage relations with France, uh, sabotage reputation, sorry, has run out. That was quick. Didn't, didn't, well, they, they found me. Okay. So you just keep There's, doing it. So yeah. I'm gonna no, do it again. no negative effects. Just do it, it over and over does again. Does it, over time, it affects it? No. No, nope. what well, happens is when, you, when you're doing it, all their neighbors and all their relationships have minus 50 opinion of them. Wow. And as soon, and as soon as you get caught, then it goes away. As soon as you do it again, it comes, comes right back. That's really useful. That might be um, possible to make it uh, alliance breaking between Castile and France, if they're still in an alliance, which they are. The uh, the one I think is pretty fun is the so discontent. That's just a, mm -hmm. um, an extra. I think one percent is it revolt risk. I don't know what the number is. I just know that when it happens to me, I hate it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's an annoying additional bit of revolt risk. Officers deserting. It's sounds bad. <laughs> Are you overextended? You must be. I think that's what yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. coming back. Just gotta wait for Constantinople to be cored. One more year, guys. I'm on my way to India. Hey, congrats! I got Madagascar. It's mostly colonizing. I'm gonna pick up bourbon just because I always like that island. <laughs> That's where the fun times happen. Uh, Castile has beat me to some stuff though. Like they've got all the cave. Like I don't know if you guys can see like South nah. Africa. Yeah, I can. Um, it's yeah, okay, I can see that. Oh my god, yeah, they went all the way around. You got yeah, Madagascar. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, that's why I'm like, oh my god, I have to get Madagascar so I have a base to continue going east from here. <laughs> but I mean, I took North America, so I'm not gonna whine too much about what happened. I think Castile and Portugal both get weaker the more they colonize because they're so terrible at handling navy and transporting uh, troops. Castile's really, really weak. You should just attack them and take their colonies. Well, I mean, you could attack Congo and then just start taking stuff from Castile. It'd be really cheap. But France. What about France? <laughs> we want to go for Paris, man. Oh, right. Well, a little bit of time. But they're all allied together, so that's the thing. When this war breaks out, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I got troops positioned to take things from Portugal. I got troops positioned to take things from Mali, maybe some other stuff. We don't know. We'll see how it goes. How many colonies do I got going on right now? Four and a fifth on the way. Okay, good. It's nice to have a decent income because then I can go over my colony limit all the time. Mm. Like the first one is super cheap above your limit. The second one, that's the one where you got to think about. Man. It's like 400%. I feel really bad for the Ottomans almost. Almost. Yeah. These chain wars are just tearing them apart. Who are they fighting now? You again? No, it's Italy now. Oh, nice. Finish them Boomba. Yeah. What a jerk. I want to, like, I'm sell not... Krakow back to Poland. It might take it. Oh, good. 36 regiments have risen up in Constantinople. No, I'm sure he'll be fine. I don't think so. Oh, don't do not do this to me again. Are they going to oh, rebel in the <laughs> one you're trying to core? Yes. Uh, 
Oh, I got, pain. I got there. I got there. It was close. Oh. We can no longer claim Krakow would be a rightful part of our realm. Oh. Now I don't even have a core on it. Or sorry, a claim on it. Oh, God. It costs 440. <laughs> it's in the center of your country. How did that happen? I want it because it's been in the center of my country for a long time. You just left it on cord? No, I tried to cord and then they came back. Uh, sorry, like this was disconnected from Poland because it was their capital. I like surrounded oh. it. And then when I took it, it just just didn't work out, did it? You, you're saying it's going to take 450 admin points to core? Yeah. Oh, crap. Port or Castile just went and grabbed one of the islands that I wanted. I think they grabbed Bourbon. Not sure. I don't remember what the two of them are called. No. That's where the sugar comes from. Or the vanilla, right? I don't remember. Ah, uh, there we go. I finally finished Greenland. All of Greenland that can be colonized has been. There you go, Poland. Congrats. I sold it's it only back. letting me rival you guys or Russia. That's I it. think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but doesn't it understand this is an AI bashing party? <laughs> That's like our, our goal. But we get our kicks doing. But we are getting quite good at it. You have to admit. Mm. Da, da, da. Oh, I have misclicked. It's okay. It's coming back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. All right. As long as it's not mid battle. Yeah, I clicked off the screen somehow. Went back to desktop. It was a Windows key thing. <laughs> so let's can see. I think see I can. India? Uh... Mm, no. Okay. I cannot. I can't speak for everybody. Just yeah, curious. See I'm not there yet. Italy. All of India. Yeah. Really? Yep. All the way to Ayutthaya. And, uh... how, how can you see India? I don't know. <laughs> I just can. What do you want to know? I was just wondering if any uh, European powers have taken over any territory there. Hmm. Not seeing anything. Vijayanagar is probably the largest in India. The Timurids are doing pretty well, but they're getting eaten by Karakyunlu. Yeah, they're getting huge. And Ayutthaya has eaten most of the uh, Vietnamese peoples. Phrasing. Or the, the, Thai, the Thailands, whatever. Oh, you finished your war with uh, the Ottomans already? Yeah, and I cut off good chunks of their land so that I can take it with the overseas expansion CB. Since they're not a rival anymore, it doesn't matter. Mm. Very clever. Yes, indeed. I feel, feel good about it. Although I wish that mine wasn't distant overseas. I'm, I'm going to complain about it again, Quill. <laughs> about what now? Not... Oh. Oh, oh, my oh. lands should In, not be distant uh... overseas. In the Middle East there? Yeah, it's silly. So, I don't know, I sold, it's relatively far. I sold Krakow but, back to Poland, thinking I would be able to go to war with them. They had zero allies. As soon as I had sold it back to them, they allied with France. <laughs> <laughs> they have six provinces. How much did you sell it to them for? It was jerks. 160. So, huh. it was the Not most bad. I could. And it allowed me to pay off a loan early. But Did you get to refund the second set of admin points you spent? Come on now. You didn't cancel it before. Selling oh, it? I I didn't uh, I didn't spend the four forty. Oh okay. Okay. I, I didn't have them to spend. Yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. It's a lot of admin points. It's a ton, especially considering I already spent uh, three sixty or something to do it in the first place. Bessarabia. Okay. Um. So I'm basically max manpower. So anytime anyone wants to do the French thing. 
Although, again, ideally, it'd be nice to bait them into the Alps first. Beat them once in the Alps, <clears> and then just GG roll over France. But I'd like to take yet. my land. Like, half mm -hmm. a video to get my uh, manpower back up. I'm not, I'm not even close to max, but I can handle France? it. <laughs> France has 135,000 troops and 150,000 manpower. In wow. <laughs> They're beasts. God damn. I mean, I'm close, though. So that's something, but of course, their troops are always going to be better, too, so. I know we Unless have to surround Russia. France, but, like, I really just want to, in this war, vassalize Poland. But it might not be possible, I guess. Might not even be desirable. Whatever. We'll, uh, we'll you could probably separate piece out Poland and have them vassalized. I don't see why you couldn't do that. Assuming they're not too big. That's what I, I think the base tax is just I'm a little sure. too high. That's probably the case, yeah. And it's not like they don't have that many good provinces. In fact, they have two good provinces, but they're very good. Krakow has 11 base tax and Ouch. Warsaw has nine. Yeah, that's going to be way too much. I don't remember what the math is, but I know that's going <clears> to <throat> be too much. It's just a direct product of base tax, right? It's like three times base tax or four times base tax or something. I've never seen this pop up before. Reform. The tribe of Navajo has become a state with functioning bureaucracy. Oh. They're still North American tech group. Like, I don't know what that means. They're a feudal monarchy. They've I guess as opposed to government. a tribe. Right. I wonder it's, how that's... it's possible to roll a zero on a six sided die. Because it happened. And I don't know how. Are you talking about in battle? Yeah. The you images of a six sided, six -sided the, the images of a six sided die. I was just kidding. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. All right, it's ten sided, mm -hmm. actually. <laughs> and with the ten being a zero, correct. Uh, okay. I played plenty of D and D. I know how this works, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. There was a really interesting post on Reddit a few weeks or months ago about all the different types of die, like all the way up to like a five hundred sided die or something ridiculous. Anyway, yeah. it's completely un unrelated to this. Well, what when did I, I used to see? play, I used to have a, a hundred-sided die, but it would never stop rolling. It had like tiny Russia. little microscopic dimples. Yeah, it was the yeah. ball. Russia. Yeah, he just rivaled me. I know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why? He's also <laughs> rivaling the Hansa. Yeah, it was it was you, Mathis, or Russia. Russia is like my oldest standing ally. And Mathis, I'm vainly trying to like get <laughs> positive relations so we can have a formal alliance. I'd like to have, be able to have a formal alliance with one of you at some point. Hmm. There, there's my reasoning. I'm not embargoing you or anything. Well, it just doesn't bode well for the future, I think. I've been rivaled by France. They haven't done anything. I'm probably rivaled by like half the people in the game right now. Mm, no, nope. you have two. That's really it's good yeah, diplomats. Your enemies are Venice and France. So that means that Venice has you rivaled. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mattis. I have you rivaled? That's... You gotta stop that, man. We God. talked about that like last week. <laughs> you guys just don't know how this game works yet after hours and hours. I you can't understand. put any of the blame for him not on rivaling me on me. Oh, remember I, I couldn't. Remember it was like, I have to wait 10 years to pick a new rival. That was We tried that like last session, I think. Yeah, I remember that. That is a thing. But it, it's been more than 10 years now, I think. Oh, I forgot between sessions. Oh, this guy. <laughs> That's code How for he, he's trying to backstab you, actually. I don't buy it. Oh, come on. Uh, from, from what everyone told me in Mathis's comments, he is uh, a little bit more devious than any of us give him credit for. That's what they want you to believe. It's a mm -hmm. conspiracy. I see how it is. Uh, who do I want my uh, new rival to be? Italy. Could be Italy. I believe it. Are we going to start this again? <laughs> I'm going to... Be enemies again, man. I mean, really? you guys. I don't want to be enemies. enemies, enemies I don't want to be enemies with anybody. I want to be friends. Hmm. Hey, in the let's be honest, the deep Mathis's devious thing comes from me trying to retake Sicily. That's all that came from. And supporting rebels. I haven't supported rebels in a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We know better. Than that. <laughs> like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, let's take a look. Oh god, if I wanted to really mess you up, it'd be easy to no support shit. rebels knowing you're at 100%, 140% overextension. No, not anymore. 
I'm at 50 something percent now. Guys, 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 I saw this comet. It's really freaky. <laughs> God damn it. Freaked out my nation. Don't know why, just did. Superstitious fools. Well, that was mm. the bottle bottle. It was. Another island somewhere over here. Well, if everybody's ready, then sure. Yeah, I'm just doing boat exploration. My life is not very exciting. I'm also capped on manpower. What? All right, I think I'm going to make... Wait, I'm not... You're, you're not my rival. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, I he lied. is. Sorry, I was looking at my enemies. <laughs> I'm going to make France or Castile my rival. You should make France your rival. Done. Boom. And as time continues to tick by, manpower... Very, very slowly coming back. That's what I'm waiting on right now. I have like a almost entirely mercenary army at this point. All right, I'm still making a lot sec. of money. One, two. Buckle my three, shoe. Three, four, five, six. Shut the door. Two, three, four, five, six. Finally, I've oh, got a Diplo Slaves. Tech 15. Thank God. All right, all right, everybody's good. good. Uh huh. Let's do this. That wasn't that wasn't a question this time. <laughs> um, cool. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll be back. The war with France continues to brew. By far, the angriest comments I get on my videos are like, you, "You've been talking <laughs> about going to war with France for like three weeks. Just do it um, soon." Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Yeah.